Well, with hashtags like Twitter shutdown and Twitter is dead trending, users are sharing tips on ways to archive their tweets and content should the social network go offline. And it comes after another week of employee resignations and late night ultimatums from new owner and CEO Elon Musk. So let's bring in business reporter Shabani Joshi. Uh, Shabani, thank you for being with us. You know, we've heard rumors now that the entire payroll department quit. Is this company going to collapse? Uh, it, the stories do not sound good, Nicole. That is for sure. I have been doing some research and people inside Twitter aren't even sure who they can quit to because they don't know if their manager is still working at the company. There is a lot of chaos and a lot of confusion and that is creating a lot of doubt in the future of Twitter. Now, is it going to come crashing down? The good news about technology companies is that they run on software and you don't need uh, people inside the, the company to make sure that the, the functionality is there, it will run no matter what. What I do have concerns about is the quality of the experience, um, whether or not if there is some sort of attack, a denial of service attack, some sort of data breach, is the company gonna, going to be able to keep my data and your data safe? Is it going to be slow and the user experience somewhat impinged in any other way? And these are the things that come to mind first before a sort of a, a doomsday scenario. And then obviously there's the financial viability. That's the whole reason um, Elon Musk bought the company. It has been profitable in the last eight of 10 quarters. It's now saddled with $13 billion of debt. You got to worry that this company is going to be able to pay to keep it running. That's what is more top of mind out there for, um, for Wall Street lookers. Oh yeah, because that's a lot of money. Okay, uh, so Shivani Musk tweeting today, quote, negative slash hate tweets will be max de-boosted and demonetized. He also tweeted saying that you won't find them unless you specifically seek them out. So does that mean that these negative or hate tweets will not be removed? I believe so. I believe that is what he is saying, Nicole. He is a free speech absolutist. That is what he declares himself to be. And he says that he doesn't want to be in the business of policing and removing. And that was one of the pain points and the agitations that he had with the previous um, leadership at Twitter. What he says he's going to do instead is let the the, the tweets happen, but they will not uh, gain any traction, momentum, or monetization by being able to uh, be seen by many people, to have ads run around them. Now, again, that's a different kind of policing, but um, he believes that this is all about being a free speech platform, and he, he stands behind it, and this policy is showing that as well. Yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see which ones, you know, will be considered, you know, negative, which ones will be considered hate to then be deboosted and demonetized, yeah. as he said. Um, he also followed that up by saying that, that, that three accounts that were suspended from Twitter have now been reactivated, but adding that the decision on Trump's account has not yet been made. At this point, Shivani, uh, how likely is it that Trump will be allowed back on this platform? You know, I, I couldn't tell you as much as anyone else, but what I do know is that Elon Musk is in the business of making a lot of splash and gaining uh, traction and reversing the decisions of the previous leadership, which he does not agree with, particularly around free speech. So he is letting people back on the platform, three notable ones, including the comedian uh, Kathy Griffin. And he says, and he tweeted, he has not yet made a decision about Trump. Everybody is waiting waiting to see what he does about that, because I do believe that will give us an indication of what sort of future this platform has, what the ecosystem will be, and what the policy will be on hate speech, propaganda, and misinformation. And Trump, uh, unfortunately or not, has become the symbol of that on this platform. Well, we don't know for sure what will happen, but I do know we will still be talking about this uh, to come, yeah. certainly in the near future. All right, Shabani, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.